Hi everyone, it's Alex from Risk Academy and today I wanted to talk about my thoughts on risk-based decision-making. Now there has been a lot of talk ever since uh, um, the publication of ISO 9001 and 14001 back in the autumn of uh, 2015. It's taken a while to sort of get, get the grip but there has been a, there has been a lot of discussion on risk-based decision making, uh, which is which I f personally find uh, fascinating because risk-based decision making and risk perception has been a scientific study since 1970s. So there has been plenty of research done into that topic uh, for us to sort of start from fresh, recreating the will. But nevertheless, I wanted to share my uh, personal perspective. What what is risk-based decision-making is all about to me, to me personally. To me, risk-based decision-making is as simple as whenever a, a, an employee, whenever a person in their day-to-day -day life is making a decision, he is gi gi he's giving appropriate consideration to the risks associated with taking the decision and risks associated of not taking, taking the decision. And that sounds pretty straightforward, but it's actually much more complicated when you try to implement it in the corporate, corporate world. Because what this essentially means is that every time an executive or a line manager or just a, uh, a, any employee in the company is making any business related decision, he should be given proper consideration to the risks associated of, with uh, making, that, making that decision. A and. Uh, the sort of the immediate response that comes to our minds well you know humans have survived for so many for so many millions of years or have they I don't know um, but basically we've been around on this earth for a while so clearly we're not that bad at understanding risks and making appropriate appropriate decisions and this is where the biggest fallacy comes in the corporate world we think that just because we are okay with making sort of life or death decisions in our life, we will be equally as good as making decisions under uncertainty in our corporate, in our corporate world. We expect employees to be reasonable, practical, have a good judgment in, of the situation, have a good understanding of the underlying risks of certain activities and make the most appropriate decision uh, in the interest of uh, of the strategic goals of the company. Now, this unfortunately could not be further from the truth. Humans in the workplace think differently, and there has been a lot of there has been an interesting study done by, if I'm not mistaken, Institute of Risk Management in UK and Prativity, and they have done an interesting study which highlights that humans in the workplace and at home behave differently. And in fact, the uh, behavior is almost the opposite of um, what we what we would expect. Plus, there's a whole uh, there's a whole area of science called risk perception, and this is something that I recommend every single risk manager researches. And I've been talking about this for a while. If you want to see videos on different cognitive biases, you can. Um, have a look at the Risk Academy channel on YouTube. There's been a lot of writing and some of the books have become bestsellers. I talk about those books in another video I have which is called My Favorite, My Five Favorite Risk Management Books. Now there's, there has been a lot of research done into how humans behave in the situations of uncertainty and it's again the opposite of what we expect. There are a lot of cognitive biases in built in our brain that influence how we make decisions under uncertainty. And it makes it very fuzzy, unclear, and we usually select not the optimum option when faced with, uh, un with any uncertainty. And it just gets worse if we're faced with a lot of uncertainty. So clearly, just relying on people to do the right thing in the business, to make sure that they continue to make risk-based decisions every time they're faced with uncertainty, is borderline naive. It's just not going to happen. So this has an immediate implication for the risk management profession. If we can't really rely, and I think it's quite unreasonable to expect people to 
make risk-based decisions on themselves. If we can't rely on them to do it themselves, that means we have to provide them with a set of tools. We have to make their job easier. It has to be reminders, templates, checklists, um, some sort of environment where they are nudged towards making a risk-based decision, not an emotional-based decision, not a... Um, I forgot, I forgot the word that I, it will come to me. Not intuition-based decision, but a risk-based decision, where the risk has actually been calculated. And again, there's another field of study. You know, there's been a lot of science and risk, which we as risk managers are completely ignoring. There's been a lot of study showing that what people are afraid of and the real risk exposure have nothing to do with one another. People are afraid of certain things, but in fact the risk is minuscule and they're ignorant of other things whether the risk is actually huge and uh, sometimes it's a life or death I I even a life or death matter so coming back to my point risk-based decision making it's a nice thought but it's not going to happen by itself it's our responsibility to as risk managers to nudge people in the right direction to help them make decisions based on the proper quality information about risks and this essentially means that risk assessments should not be done monthly or quarterly or annually. They should be done every single day. And in fact, a number of times by uh, every single person who makes a decision associated with uncertainty. What this essentially means is that risk manager cannot be everywhere at the same time. He should, be, he should try and get involved in the most uncertain or high ticket item very significant material business decision that's for sure but he clearly cannot be everywhere he cannot be with the procurement and IT guys at the same same time so what this means and what this implies for the risk profession is that we have to create an environment and a set of tools that will allow each individual employee each executive each stakeholder Whenever he's making a decision associated with corporate objectives, he has some sort of help, some sort of tool that he can use. And this essentially means that it should, shouldn't be a one ERM framework which tries to sort of encapsulate everything that the company does. There should probably be dozens of smaller methodologies associated with particular types of decisions. And I think this is the future of risk-based decision making, not creating a single framework for risk management, but rather creating a framework that integrates into all the different processes and every time there is a, well, all the different business processes and business decisions and every time there is a separate uh, risk assessment methodology. It's the same in essence, it's always identify, assess uh, and uh, do something about it. Um, but how you identify, how you assess, what tools you use, what checklists you use, should and will be different in every single instance. Now, I know this may sound a little bit controversial, so I, I welcome, as always, your thoughts underneath this video. If you want to see more videos from Risk Academy, do subscribe to our channel on YouTube. From now, for me, thank you and goodbye.